Yeah, Warthog Princess and Kelly. Come on. Kelly wants to say hi. She always wants to say hi. Hi, baby. She's been very patient today. We had a lazy day at home. We didn't go for a long W-A-L-K like we normally do. So she's been quite antsy and interactive, huh? Yeah. Anyway, this video is going to be about Crocs and Vera Bradley. If you're not familiar, they did a collaboration last year for the first time. And it did really well. It sold out very quickly, all varieties and all sizes. And this year they did another collaboration and it also went pretty quickly, but um, mixed thoughts on that. So this year they did the classic clog, they did slides, they did a couple of varieties, but they did mostly the floating garden and sunny garden at first. So I looked at them online on Vera and I thought about it and I thought, you know, I'm not a big fan of classic Crocs clogs. They just don't fit my feet well. Even if I go a size up, because I have long monkey toes, and so the, the way that the angle on the toe of the clog goes, it's a real chiseled tip, and like my second toe is longer than my first, kind of like, you know, your fingers. So um, that just doesn't fit my feet well. So anyways, and if I get the size up where it kind of fits the toes a little bit better, more proportionally, then they're just really too wide. I have narrow feet, so anyway. Um, not a big fan of them, so I, I did not get them, but I did wait and wait and I thought about them, like, but I really want some Crocs. Last year, what I ended up doing was I bought the slides. These are very old. I've used them a ton. You can see how they've started to wear like the, I don't want to say it's painted on, but it's, it's kind of wearing off the color a little bit on the top. But these have seen a lot, a lot of use just around the house and pool and walking the dog around the block and whatnot. So I thought maybe I would just get a pair of slides this year and call it good. Well, not exactly how it worked out. I have two, um, one, two, three, four, five, seven pairs of Crocs in front of me. That's a bit overboard, but here's what happened. I was not just my normal crazy, right? Um, so I looked on the Crocs website, Vera, um, had them and I, I wanted to see if they were coming out with something else because they always come out with these like white base and white why I want I don't want white shoes all the time and when we walk in on them they turn black right away so I went to Crocs and I decided I would try some different varieties so I go in my RV a lot I travel a lot um, I walk the dog every day a couple times um, Anyway, so I thought it's going to be winter soon. I'll get some just nice fleece lined, or not fleece lined, you know, um, Sherpa lined Crocs. These are more of a normal toe shape, so they would fit my feet and they're narrower. These are great. I'm really, really excited. I already had the gibbets from my other Crocs last year, so I just put them on there. So these are really great. So I bought those. Those are definitely keepers. And at the same time, I thought, you know, I'm not generally a fan of the clogs, but these ones looked a little different. From the side and from the back, it almost looked like a normal athletic shoe. So I, I thought I'd try them. So here's what it looks like on the side. I mean, totally different. They do have a little bit more weight and structure than the normal Crocs, but there's the bottom. See why I don't like white? Hello, they're going to be black. It's just silly. I don't mind it like this. This is different than, you know, the white base or whatever. And it's black where your feet are going to be. So you're not going to be looking at like dirty feet areas. Not that it's not going to be cleaned. But what I liked about these ones, I don't want to put it on the table, but see how it's a little more rounded than the traditional clog. It still has, well, still has that kind of chiseled shape to it, but it's a little bit more proportional and a little bit more normal foot. And of course it has the little thing that you can put up or back. Um, so there you go. So there's those. And like I said, they do have a little bit more structure and support, which I really love those. So I did not buy Vera ones, but I bought two pairs of Crocs and I was totally good. And that was it. But then I was in the insiders and everybody's talk, showing pictures of their Crocs and matching their kids and all these cute things and talking about the gibbets and oh man, I really want those. I want to be, I want to be in the cool crowd, right? You know, yeah. No peer pressure at all, but I decided I wanted them. So I got back on the website and they didn't have them yet on Crocs, but I had decided by then that I really, really liked those black and white ones I just showed. So I looked to see, and Crocs was having a really good sale. So those first two pairs I got really cheap. Um, 
But I found another pair that was shoe-like. Um, since I like the black and white ones so much, I thought better have a second pair. I can leave one at home and one in the trailer. Um, so these ones are very similar. They have that same sort of um, rounded-ish top, toe. It still has the multi-positional thing. It has a little bit of rise in the back here, so a little bit of a heel cup. But look at the bottom. I mean, it's I mean, it's, it's, it's an actual shoe, you know, that is totally different for Crocs, but it's an actual shoe base. So this one, it just has a little more structure and rigidity, so you could walk on rocks easier and not feel it through the rubber, um, that kind of thing. So that was important to me, and definitely if we're on the road, um, especially where you don't know where you're going to end up having to walk, walk the dogs and you're stopped on the way somewhere. So there's that. But since, since I had three pairs now, I definitely didn't need to, need to be on any Vera, but I still was listening to the insider discussion. So next thing you know, I was back on the Crocs website because sure enough, they said, you know, Vera was out of them, but Crocs had them. So I got on there and I looked and they did in fact have the Floating Garden Classic Crocs, Classic Crocs Clogs um, with the white, white base, which I dislike, but these are very, very light compared to the ones I just showed. Um, they are not quite as rounded. They're a little bit more of that classic chiseled shape, um, which doesn't quite fit my foot as well. Um, but the white, it shows everything. Like here's dog hair in there already and it, whatever. I just haven't even worn them. They've just been tried on. So I decided these, they're just too wide for my feet. They just don't fit my feet as well. So even though they're light and fun and Vera, I think these are going to have to go back. So I set those aside. But while I was there, they also had some other Vera ones that Vera didn't have, but Crocs did, which I find strange when they do collaborations like that. Um, okay, so those are the classic Crocs clogs. These ones are more of a shoe. Um, Trying to think of the name of this. Crocs at work. I want to say it's like Naria, Naria clog, something like that. Vera Bradley and Crocs. Yeah, it doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't say. But it's it's a shoe. Look, I mean it has a nice a no slip grip on the bottom, actually pretty good. It has a structured, a little more padding in the heel of it. It has this comfortable cup, it has soles inside that you, know, you can remove those and put your own insoles in if you want. But these are very, very comfortable. And because of the shape of the toe, they fit my feet nicely. And look how narrow it is compared to the clogs. It just fits my foot much, much better. Just, it just does. So, so I'm really glad I got these. But So I ordered these two pairs. I ordered this pair and the clogs and I figured, well, I'll, two more pairs in their video, whatever. They'll get used. Clearly, they wear out in about a year, so whatever. Yeah. So then, <laughs> so that I, I kept shopping, and I decided I love purple, and I found a purple. Also, this is also Vera Bradley. I don't really know what pattern they called that, but this is the Bistro clog from Crocs. So this one is a little different than the classic clog. So this one is, it's just this plasticky rubber material, whatever we'll call it rubber for the sake of discussion. I know it's not rubber. Um, and then it has this plastic button here and that's it. That's all, it's very light. It's all kind of one piece mold, whatever. This one is very similar. It's all one piece, but it doesn't have any air vents in it at all. The toe actually has the same shape, so it's definitely that wedge toe with the chiseled end. Um, it, it just doesn't have any air at all getting in there. It does have the raised heel cup, which is a little higher even than the one I showed with the shoe version. Um, but it does have a little more structured bottom, so it's, it's gonna be a little bit more rigid and you're not gonna feel quite as much. Like if you're walking on the rocks with these, a lot of times you can feel the rocks right through there. It doesn't hurt your foot or anything, but you can feel the the points where you're, you're got the rocks. This you wouldn't you would not. So, and also the button on this one it has a VB and a diamond, but it's like a little metal 
a lightweight like aluminum or something, but it's, it's a little metal button. So these ones are slightly different. I think um, between the two, I would most definitely choose these because of the color, but also because, um, you know, just a little bit more foot, but I, I wish it had some ear holes. But this is even wider on my foot than this one was. So these two are just too wide and it, you can almost even see it in the picture. These are actually the same size, but this one is wider. So because, because I spent way too much money and because I don't really need seven pairs of new Crocs, I think those two have to go back. But there's one more pair that I found with the purple. And I'd already, I already got the other one, so I ordered these ones because I'm like, well, if I had seen the two at the same time, I would have just got the gray or the purple, not both, but separate orders, the way they came, here we are. So now I have to decide, do I want the purple ones, which are the same, or do I want the gray and pink ones? I think I know the answer. I might keep them both in this case because these you can wear every day, you can wear them year round because, you know, they're actually shoes. So we'll see, but yeah, that's my Crocs story for this year. The other part of it is, you know, I'm not really a big into the gibbets. I only had those other gibbets because I was with a friend in Missouri and we bought some just having fun. And it was, it was fun. But I bought some this time to go with my black and white ones and blue and white ones. So I, I ordered some that meant something to me, of course. Um, I'm not gonna put them all on at the same time. I sort of plan to change them up, like you change your socks or something. Um, maybe not every day. But I, I have the sun, sunshine. Sorry, I know it's bright light there. And then I have a little cutesy cactus, because Arizona, hello, those are super cute. And then my little niece, when she was conceived, my brother, called her the piglet. So how's piglet? Piglet's progressing, pig, you know, whatever. Um, and I'm Tigger, so Tigger and piglet. So me and my one niece. There's supposed to be a heart, so Tigger loves piglet, but unfortunately the heart didn't show up. Um, I saw on the order confirmation, a delivery confirmation, it said, yeah, that was, that was canceled and the paw, the dog paw, like the two most important ones, one a paw for Lucy and the heart, yeah, anyway. But I got Mickey and Minnie, and I actually wanted these ones, um, which I ordered the second one to order. But before that, they didn't have those. They only had these, so I had ordered the small ones initially. So I ended up with both, and that's fine. I have multiple pairs. So one can go on one, one can go on another, or I can give them to my nieces and nephews. But I accidentally ordered two pairs of that one, so I have two of those. And I have an M for Mickey, but also Michelle. So that's my name. All right, anyway, so the gibbets. That's gonna be fun, um, figuring out how to do all that. Obviously I know how, but I mean how I'm going to execute. But. So that's Crocs and Vera and gibbets. And <laughs> a little bit of my crazy, there you go. So I have to figure out tomorrow how to send back Crocs. They're unused, obviously brand new with tags. I just tried them on and send them back. So I have all the wrappings and yeah. But thanks for watching. I hope you all had a great weekend. I have more videos prepped sitting on the end of the table. Those will probably come out tomorrow or the next day. Um, I might even get one more done tonight. But take care. Bye for now. Washi washi.